see from the title today's video is what is in my changing bag cloth nappy edition um when i was switching to cloth nappies i was doing lots of research and for some reason i made it a lot more complicated in my head than it needed to be in regards to what i would need to take out with me to use cloth nappies so um i searched for cloth nappy changing bag videos and didn't really come across many so even though you can just swap everything I have for disposable items or single use items, if that's what you prefer to use, um, I thought I would put cloth nappy edition in the title just so that the cloth nappy audience might find it. Because like I said, when I was pregnant and searching for that sort of thing, I couldn't really find very much. So I have grabbed this bag um, exactly as it is after a trip out this morning for Darcy's vaccinations. Um, she's currently having a nap so I thought I would quickly film this. It was meant to go up last week but I ended up doing a different video instead. So here we are. This is my changing bag. It is, I think, I think it's faux leather um, and it's by a company called Giggle. I think it's pronounced Giggle um, and I bought this when they were running quite a good sale when I was pregnant um, in 2021 but they still sell them now I believe. If not this exact one, they still have um, a variety of different styles and sizes. Um, I have found it really good. It's just starting to show signs of wear now. And I've used it every single day pretty much for 15 months. Um, and I took it into the hospital with me and stuff. So it's lasted okay. And I think it will continue to last. It will just start looking a little bit beaten up. Um, and the reason I chose it was because it had loads of pockets and it's got a really nice depth. It's, you can really stuff this full basically. And I certainly have. This is what I would take if we're going out for like a whole morning or a whole afternoon um, or a whole day. Um, and I want to make sure I've got everything with me that I might need. First of all, um, just because it's hanging on the bag, this is normally inside the bag and it's a Bell's Bums mini pod. And this is her little snack bag. So um, in here we've got a bib, a spoon, and that's because she had like a fruit dairy-free yogurt pouch thing in here yesterday. Some raisins, a few little snack things. There's normally like a bag of baby crisps and stuff in there and some fruit. Um, so that's her little snack pouch. And again, that's from Bell's Bums. And this print is exclusive to Charlton Pharmacy, I believe. Now for the bag itself. So this front pocket is actually um, like an insulated double bottle pocket. And then it's got like um, a mesh pocket in there as well. That's currently empty. When Darcy was tiny, I used to fill that up with snacks for myself. Um, I was breastfeeding and she has allergies, so I had to cut out her allergens. And um, I used to fill up that pocket with my snacks because we didn't have bottles or anything to carry. And then the side pockets just have a pair of socks in. And then in this side, random tea bag because my nan gave them to me the other day. There is also a large back pocket, which I think um, is where you're meant to keep the changing mat that comes with the bag. Um, but I never kept it in there because I had my own little change mat um, when she was tiny. But it's also uh, like got a separated pocket in there too. So again, great for storage. I actually took this bag with me as my hand luggage when I took Darcy to Disneyland Paris on my own when she was nine months old. And I put all of our travel documents in that pocket and it kept them all safe. So that was really handy. It's got um, a backpack straps which are currently um on their smallest setting because i had it on the stroller and then it's got loops to attach it to your pram again really handy plus it's got the standard carry handle and you can secure the handles together to make it easier when you open the bag it's one of those that has like a frame so it opens out in a big rectangle which i absolutely like and it looks kind of chaotic in there but it's actually all super organized um so there are two back like elasticated pockets at the top and another one at the bottom a zip pocket on the back and another one at the bottom and then two elasticated side pockets as well as your main compartment 
I will show you inside the bag, but for now I'll just quickly take a few bits out. So on the top, we've got this bonnet, which is actually just in there left over from yesterday. My mum made Darcy an Easter bunny bonnet last year and she's made her another one this year and she gave it to me yesterday. So that's just chilling on top of the bag. Um, I then have this wipes, well, it's actually a mini wet bag from Designer Bums, but that's what I keep my reusable wipes in. And I only have one left in there, so I need to refill that today. There's a bottle of drink in there that I picked up after Darcy's vaccinations. And then this is the last thing in the main body of the bag. And it is my nappy pod. This again is by Bells Bums, but I have them from various different companies and I put her nappies and everything in a pod just because it makes it a lot easier during nappy changes when you're out and about I can just pull the pod out and know that I have everything in here that I need a lot of people will keep their wipes pouch in their pod as well but I personally have it separate just in case she eats anything while we're out or she gets dirty or something I can just quickly grab it out the top of my bag um but yes this is what my pod looks like and inside there I have a wet bag for dirty nappies as you can see there's one in there because we did a nappy change earlier um there is a dirty nappy in there but this is from Little Love Bum it's one of their new prints which I absolutely love um and like I said this is just for dirty nappies and wipes I've then got four nappies if we're going out for a whole day I tend to take like five nappies um, so there's four in here. This is Fia, these two are Bell's Bums, and this one's Bear Bot. Um, I just tend to put like easy pockets in my changing bag. And then this is the changing mat that came with the bag. Um, it just opens up like that and I just fold it and keep it in the side of my pod. I've actually only just recently put it back in my changing bag because I um, got caught short on a couple of days out where I was changing her like in the toilets and it really wasn't like nice facilities. So I thought I'd better put the changing mat back in um, to use when we're out and about. And with this wet bag, what I'll do, um, at, I'll probably do it now after this video, is just take the nappy out and pop it into my wet bag ready for wash day. So that's everything that's in the main body of the bag. Not loads, to be honest. And then this is the rest of the pocket set up. So I've got a little receipt down there from sending a parcel. Um, this is a dummy pot, excuse the state of my nails, goodness me, they seriously need doing. Um, but this is a little dummy pot um, or you could pop snacks in there, whatever you want. Um, that just clips onto the like really handy clip in the bag. I think it's meant to be for your keys, but I use it for that. Um, there's a pocket in here which I keep sanitary items in just in case I need them. This side pocket here has a mini wet bag in um, and there's normally a change of clothes in here for Darcy but we had to use that change of clothes um, this week and I haven't yet put another one in so I really need to put another change of clothes in there just in case. We have my purse here in this pocket and a muslin and lip balm in this pocket don't often use muslins anymore, but she had a bit of a runny nose the other day, so I popped one in there in case I needed to wipe her nose. There's two pockets down here, which I don't currently have anything in. And then another side pocket here that has another Bell's Bums mini wet bag in. This is like my little just in case wet bag. Um, and I'd really recommend having something like this. Um, there's a few bits that I would want to add into here. So like I feel like maybe a hairband or two, plasters, um, antiseptic maybe, something like a few mini first aid items. But I have Milton antibacterial surface wipes. I have a few sachets of Calpol um, just in case of emergencies and not just for me but for other people's children as well like there's nothing worse than being out and your child suddenly feeling poorly or suddenly having terrible like teething pain or something so oops so I like to have a few of these on me um another lip balm because you can never have too many metanium nappy cream just in case 
teething gel. This is the Ashton and Parsons teething gel. I don't find that this one's particularly effective, to be honest. I think Andersol is the best one. Um, and then I have Milton antibacterial hand sanitizer. And this one is safe um, for babies from three months old. So if your baby puts their hand in something or whatever, you can um, quickly spritz this on if you're not near um, a tap or a sink to properly wash your hands or wash their hands. Um, and the surface wipes I use to wipe down tables if we go to a restaurant or a coffee shop or something um, and to wipe her dummy or toy if it falls on the floor. So yeah, that's my little like just in case pouch. And like I said, there's definitely stuff missing that I could add into here. And I think I will do that just to have those little essentials just in case. So yeah, that is it. That is everything that is in my nappy bag. My daughter's 15 months old, so do bear in mind that she is a bit older now, so I don't necessarily need to take loads with me, but that is everything I would take for a full day. Um, and I would have her sippy cup as well, but that's in, her li in the living room underneath the pram that she is asleep in, and I don't wanna wake her up. Um, but yeah, that is everything. If we're in any sort of like extreme weather, there might be a few extras as well. Like I have a pair of mittens underneath the pram. And in the summer, I kept a little bag in there with sun cream, a sun hat and sunglasses as well. But she never wore the sunglasses. Um, so seasonal items do go in and out of there too. I hope this is helpful to somebody who's feeling a bit overwhelmed about what they should carry in their baby's changing bag, especially if like me, you are just switching to cloth nappies and you feel like you need to take loads of stuff with you, but you really don't, it's just the same. You don't need one of these pods either. You can literally just take the nappies and wipes as they are loose in your bag. Um, for me, I just find it easier to be able to pull this out by the handle and just take this to the, um, changing facilities with me and it keeps everything nice and neat as well. Some people just use this as a changing bag and put everything in that they need or like a standard wet bag, they just put everything in that they need, especially if it's got two compartments in the wet bag so you can separate like clean and dirty. But this is what works for me and if we have another baby, um, I think this bag will continue to work for us as well. Yeah. Hope it's helpful. If you have any questions, as always, do let me know and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.